Hey everyone, this is Rachel and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. If you hang out until after the video is through, there are always detailed shots of my current layout. Let's get going! Hey everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here with another process video. Today I have these two photos. One is a 3x4, one is a 2x3. I actually do have more photos than this, but they're not fabulous photos. And I'm doing this layout as part of a challenge for the Patreons of Heather's Crafty Life. She holds a monthly um, scrap party for those who are of a certain tier. and there's uh, several challenges for this weekend and I am doing the sketch challenge. This is the sketch we are using. It is from Inspired Blueprints, Sketches to Build On. And I'm going to be using the Photoplay Paper Band Geek line. This is a line that I was super excited for it to come out. My nephew has been in band for years. And I was like, oh, awesome, perfect, a, a band-themed one that's not all black and white because, as you can see, they wear black and white. So when you have a line that's all black and white and then the photos are all black and white, it gets to be really boring. Uh, unfortunately, this one's just a little too colorful for me. Uh, I mean, it's fine. I'm going to use it. But once I, I've made one other layout with it, once I finish this, I think I'll pass it on to someone else who will appreciate it. Uh, more than I can have it to just sit in my stash. So that happens. Oh, and Xanthi is joining us. Yay. All right. So I've told you what I'm using as a sketch and told you what I'm working with. As I mentioned, they're not great photos. Uh, my nephew sits in like the far back center of the band. I had a side view because I was volunteering for this particular concert. This is actually his uh, spring concert of his junior year. So uh, they're not fabulous photos, so I see no reason to make them any bigger. It's not going to make them better, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> All right, so I have nattered on long enough. I just want to say, I usually end up saying this at the end, but I know not everyone watches all the way through to the end. I do want to say, uh, make sure I'm saying thank you to all of those who have recently subscribed and thank you even more to those of you who say subscribed and comment and like and all of that. I understand if you can't, I am like one of the worst people of doing that as well, but I just want you to know, it just, it's so appreciated and it just, it you know, it's really, if you're having a bad day and you see someone liked your video, it's, it's stupid, but it makes me feel better. There you go. All right, folks, I'm gonna go ahead, get you guys put on fast, fast forward, so let's get going. All right, everyone, so here I have my white cardstock that I'm going to use in the sketch. There is some mixed media, so I am going to go ahead and grab a stencil. I finally decide on this one from Prima. It has uh, different sizes of triangles on it, and I love triangles, so I was super excited to go ahead and use it. So what the plan is, is I'm just going to chat about the plan while I'm getting started here. Right now, I'm just trimming things apart. I want to do some mixed media. And for me, there are two different types of mixed media. There's the mixed media you do, like the packaging technique or um, that in that style where what you're looking for is just the edges of it. It's okay to make a hot mess under where the photos are going because you were literally, that's where your photos are going. And then there's the other type of mixed media and that's where, you know, you want to see it all and you're looking for it to be precise. And that's what I'm looking for today. So I'm gonna stop my little mixed media instructional thing and just say, I had to go to my second piece of paper for this because I'm looking for a vertical chunk of paper. And because those blue cellos are so prominent because of their color, uh, especially since I'm going to be using a blue piece of paper on top of them, uh, the idea of these sideways cellos was driving me bonkers. So it's just like, no, we're just, you've got that second piece of paper, just go ahead and use it. So now I've got my uh, pattern paper elements chosen. I've got my white cardstock. And so as for this particular layout, I want that precise 
mixed media, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the top of my layout first with my pattern paper and my photos, and then I'm going to uh, mark the white cardstock where that's covering and make sure to do my mixed media where it's not going to be covered up by my photos and paper. So I've got two photos, a two by three and a three by four. And then to match up with my sketch, I'm using that band geek cut apart as part of as my title and as well as part of the design. Because as I said in the beginning, these are not great photos. These are literally the gosh, 13th, 14th, 15th time I have scrapbooked almost the exact same photos. So I was just like, you know what? We're good enough with just the three by four and the two by three and the journaling to go along with it. And I will be happy with that. I am inking up all of my papers with Hickory Smoke Distress Ink. It's the normal one a uh, go-to for my uh, edge inking process. And so what I have now is my vertical multicolor piece and then the blue music paper and then my very colorful band geek title along with my two photos, which if I don't know if you remember the sketch from the beginning, but uh, in the sketch, they were all lined up on the left hand side of that blue paper, I instead am moving them to the right hand side, basically because that's the way the children are all facing in the photo. So once I get these all down, I'm going to get my photos down and then get this piece of paper down to the back piece. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up where they're going and then mark it with a pen uh, where I want where I want to make sure not to do my mixed media. So in that way it can um not be covered up. So I'm just going to take a little pen and just make some dots so I know I don't need to mix media to the left of those dots. Now I am going to be using some black texture paste today. It is from Wendy Vecchi by I think it's by Ranger. I'm pretty sure she works for Ranger. And I will say I was I just hit my laptop. So if that made a noise, I apologize. Um I am super impressed with this because I bought this in 2015 or 2016 and I thought I was going to have to add some water and kind of stir it all up but it was perfect it was smooth as silk it went on super duper easy I was very very impressed with the quality of this texture paste for lasting three to four years so I only used it the when I first bought it and then I actually have never used it again uh it's like one of those things where it's like, oh, I totally have to have this and then never actually use it. Uh, when I did that second section down at the bottom, I got a little bit of a halo effect around some of them. So I just tapped it on the top part just to be consistent with both the top and the bottom. And the thing I'm going to do right now is go and clean my stencil uh, before I, obviously I edited it, but I went and cleaned my stencil because you definitely need to do that with... Um, any kind of texture paste. So I'm showing you the vibes I'm using. You can actually read it. I tried to find a clear st shot, but it just didn't work out. What those are are blue jeans, Hermit the Frog, and Rose Gold Red. And then at the last second, I added in Mango Tango. And all I'm going to do is sprinkle those colors over the black texture paste just to bring some colors to the background. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I keep, I'm talking with my hands and I keep whacking my laptop. I apologize greatly to you all. Uh, this is my third voiceover in a row. I am done after this. I'm going to go treat myself with a slush from Sonic because I am tired. I will be totally honest. I worked a full day today and then I'm like, I made dinner and um, now I am uh, doing my third voiceover of the evening. So I'm a little fried at this point. It's also very humid here in Connecticut. So, oi. All right. So I'm going to, while that back piece is drawing, I'm going to start decorating or embellishing my top piece. I have that saxophone sticker, but I'm not super happy with the size of it next to that photo. So I decide to think on it and I go ahead and move on and add the words spring 2018 in those tile stickers. Those are older, they're from Scraptastic, which used to be a kit club here. 
in the scrapbooking world, I'm going to add that circle sticker. And then I see this clef and I'm like, oh, that would be perfect. It's a much better perspective, the size. And then I'll layer the saxophone sticker over that. I also like this green tag, but there's really nowhere to put it there. I am going to end up using it on my background piece though. So yay me. So I'm trying to see if it's dry enough. It's not really just yet, but I think about adding that tag to the upper right hand corner and I'm like, well, there's no mixed media over there so I can work on that. No problem. <laughs> so I add that giant tag sticker, but I'm going to trim off the top. And then I'm also going to add some really colorful enamel dots. I've got a lot, even though there's a lot of color going on. It's really concentrated over on that left hand side. So I thought I could go super colorful in the other places. Like that giant tag in the upper right hand corner and then using these really colorful enamel dots as well. So something tells me I probably should have edited, edited this a slightly bit better and chopped some of this out because we're still adding enamel dots. But, you know, sometimes I am not the world's best editor and things get left in and I will only re-edit so often <laughs> until I go insane. I pull out my flare and see if any of that is going to work, but apparently that was a no. So I am coming to the end here. I'm just looking at the sketch one more time, seeing if I'm missing any of the elements. I'm basically waiting. For, oh, I know what I did. I went and got these Ellie Studio puffy stickers and I added some colorful stars to both, to all of the little areas that had enamel dots. They have great colors and they really match the photo play ones better because they're super saturated colors. All right, folks, I am close to being done. Thank you guys so much for joining me here with this super oddballish voiceover that I had going on. I'm going, my mixed media is now dry, so I am going to go ahead and add the top piece of paper and photos to my background, and I'm super happy with the way that is looking. It looks really cute. All right, I'm going to finish off by adding some more mist in Tuscan Sun, adding a bit of that yellow that is in the title piece, and then I'm going to finish off with some blue jeans. That's all I got today, folks. Thanks for joining me. If you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. And that's the, the green ticket. That's why I loved it.